All right, in case you think it's impossible for a business titan to make it to any executive office, you might want to look to the state of Kentucky and that Devin. He's the Republican who just uh, won that uh, state's crucial race here. He was given up for lost when this all started about a year ago. He was a Tea Party candidate, but one with no political experience uh, and just made a fortune uh, in his business enterprises. And now, of course, the easy runaway winner in that race. Craig Smith says it could be a very encouraging development to business titans anywhere who might entertain office and go give it a, a try, maybe by extension even Donald Trump, who knows. Uh, Craig, uh, what do you make of that and, and the success that Bevin had in Kentucky? Now, to a sympathetic audience, but it didn't start out that way. No, indeed it did not. And, you know, I wish this was an on-year election. You know, off-year elections, Neil, are very low voter turnout. But when you win 53 to 44, when the That's polls right. had it just the opposite, that says, says a lot. And you got to look at the platform that Neil Bevin ran on, Neil. This is what's very interesting. He promised to abolish Connect, which is the Obama health care exchanges. That means the cutback in Medicaid money for the state, which is going to affect 400,000 people in Kentucky. He told the people the truth. He's a very unabashedly Christian conservative. He was against Common Core. He's pro for cutting taxes, pro school vouchers. He supported Kim Davis. Everything that the politicians would tell you should have cost him this election, he won on, Neil. And I would think that Democrats and the Republican establishment have to be shivering in their boots today with what they saw in Kentucky, because if this is anything to talk about what's going to happen in 2016, we are going to see a huge shakeup in 2016. And I think what clinched it for, for Bevin, uh, uh, quite frankly, Neil, is he said this at the end. He said, I will fight for you. Now, well, who does that sound like? That's Trump. He's out there. I will fight. And, and, and look, I haven't picked a candidate yet, but we want a fighter. That, 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 that segment you did with, with, with Brian, think about it. Jefferson was out there fighting. We're not going to put up with this. We're in America. We have standards. We are going to be a great nation. And I think that's what you saw in Kentucky. But, you know, you, you're right to look at polls and, all. of course, you could think, hey, it's a Republican state now. It's the state of Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul. I mean, it would be tough for a Democrat to win, but you're quite right to point out the Democrat was leading in a lot of these polls. But it does say something about the appetite Americans have to throw the bum out or to throw the traditional politics out and go outside this Petri dish. That could equally be encouraging to a Ben Carson, uh, to a Ted Cruz. Hard to say because he's a, outside your normal political Petri dish. But should establishment candidates then be worried on either side? Yes, yes, and I, and I think they're going to have to start thinking outside of the box and stop listening to the to the uh, talking heads that are the paid consultants that are telling them to say things versus believing things. And I think this is where Matt Bevan made a big difference. Uh, Neil, if you ever listened to the guy on the stump, he was pro-military, served in the military, was a captain in, in the 5th uh, Mechanismed Armored Division. I mean, this guy ran businesses. He brought back a family business from the edge of death, paid back all of its back taxes, all of its debts. They were hit with lightning, literally burnt to the ground and rebuilt it again. I mean, this guy, he's got four adopted children from Ethiopia. And this is a guy who says, look, we're America. We're great. We can do Very this, Kentucky. Very uplifting message. You might agree or disagree, but to what we we're raising with Art Laffer and Ronald Reagan's approach. Very uplifting. Give them something to look forward to. Just don't be shouting what you're against. Show them something that you're you for. You bet. You're right. You're right. Thank you, Craig. Always good seeing you, my friend. Thank you. Good seeing you. All right. Now, uh, taking a look.